right. Welcome back to Happy Hour with Heather and Guest. This is episode number ever the this is episode number 110. I'm that other dude, Andrew, and as always, I'm joined by Heather. And Happy Easter. Happy Easter, indeed. <laughs> and today we're gonna talk about a band called Slimosa, which was my suggestion once the rotation went back in my uh, corner. Um, Slomosa is a band from Bergen, Norway. So we've gone over the pond. They had released their self-titled album, also called Slomosa, back in 2020. And I believe their sophomore album is going to be coming out soon. They've had a couple of singles that they've released um, since, you know, within the last couple of months. So uh, I was really excited. We, we, I think we had um, played them once, like one of their songs a while back when we had a different format for the show, when we were talking about three, three bands at once. Um, so I, I figured they'd be worth revisiting since I've been on sort of a slow motion renaissance the last month. So yeah. what did you think? Oh gosh, I really liked them. I really liked it. Um, you know, I listened to their self-titled album and the two singles, and hopefully their new album is coming out this spring. <laughs> they haven't given us a date yet, so sometime this spring. They have a really cool stoner rock, desert rock sound. The first song on their album is called Horses, so that immediately got my attention. The album is up tempo and it's really hard not to like anything about it. It has great energy. It makes you feel good when you listen to it. I really like the song In My Mind's Desert. I really like the guitars and those notes just before he sings. All I know is that I've done well on my own. That makes the whole song for me. I also really like the last song on the record, Psychonaut. The whole tone of the song is different. It's more expansive. I like the heaviness of it and how atmospheric it sounds. There was a comment on Bandcamp that compared Slomosa to the band Egypt. And to me, they're the goat for desert rock. So that is really high praise and very well deserved. This is a great album. I also listened to their two new singles. It sounds like their album is gonna be awesome. The tone on the song, Cabin Fever is amazing. It's heavy and the soaring vocals are great. And for their song, Rice, I like how they played a lot. They played around with their style and came up with something different while giving a nod to the great bands of the past. So I'm excited. I'm excited to hear more from them. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think when I first suggested we listen to Horses, that was the track that I'd heard. Um, and I was really sort of taken by that. Uh, and then recently I started s s scouring the internet for you know, more tracks from their upcoming release. And I found a live performance they did at Hellfest, I think back in 2022. So I've just been watching that performance sort of on a loop from start to finish. And um, they have uh, Rice has played and I think Cabin Fever. Um, and then they have some other tracks that I would imagine will be upcoming. Um, but uh yeah, no, I, there is just something about the the total package. I haven't said that phrase in a long time, but like the professional wrestler Lex Luger, who was known as the total package. Um, yeah, my, my favorite song from them is a song called Estonia. And I dipped into your bag of tricks for this time around, Heather. I looked up the lyrics because I was sort of <laughs> curious what the lyrics were. Um, since we've been doing this, I have much more of an appreciation. Previously, I think I was only about the riff. Uh, and then we were talking the other day and you were like, yeah, but lyrics are 
50% of the song. And that sort of really struck with me. Um, so yeah, Estonia was interesting because the lyrics are two decades of sweet relief, made it with the sweetest, sweetest of leaves from nature. But what's more real than death itself and on he rambles. Um, he won't argue at peace with things to forget. He doesn't remember a thing. What they did to him, all he wants for things to make sense. So it was interesting because at first I was like, okay, made with the sweetest, sweetest of leaves. The song could be about a drug, um, you know, possibly marijuana. You know, it's from nature. And then it was sort of like about somebody who wanting, wanting to forget things um, and just being sort of stoned. At least that was my... So it was cool to kind of, you know, I would sing along the chorus, you know, the chorus is just added again out on his face again. And then what's cool is that the lead singer and the bass player harmonize with like a, whoa. So I would sing along with that and not really know what the song was about. And then recently I looked up the lyrics and, and was like, oh, these are really, this is a much potentially heavier subject than what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, there really wasn't, there was never a song that I was like, oh yeah, let me skip this one. That was back in the day when one of the first Walkmans I had, I don't think it even had a rewind button. It just had play, stop, and forward. And I remember thinking, okay, well this cassette tape is gonna pass the Walkman test if I just listen to it without ever hitting the forward button. <laughs> and if you, you know, cause if you got to a song you really liked, like nowadays you can just cherry pick songs. Um, you know, a lot of times I feel like albums are put out with the hit on it and people will sample the other stuff, but they'll just go back to the hit. Um, and this was one of those times I'll just throw on the Hellfest performance and watch it from start to finish. And it's just great music. Yeah, I like listening to whole albums. <laughs> sure. I I know um, the big thing now is, you know, making playlists. Uh, but I don't know. I still, I'm stuck in my ways. I just, <laughs> playlists are great, you know, for like, you know, maybe if you're doing something like working out or, you know, something like that. But Gosh, I am stuck in my ways. I just like listening to full albums. <laughs> so <laughs> I just listen to full albums. So, and this, yeah, one, well, this one is great. I mean, it's great from every song is great from start to finish. Yeah. Well, and what's if you watch the um, if you watch any of their live performances, the the lead singer didn't look like what I expected the lead singer for a band like this to look like, you know, he, I think he was wearing um, like basketball shorts, had short hair and, you know, the guitarist uh, had, you know, long hair and a beard. And I remember thinking like, Oh, okay, well that's cliched. My, my cliched version of what, you know, the musician should look. So it was also interesting for me, to remember, um, like I remembered back in the day taking my brother to see an Iron Maiden concert and being the only one there in like khakis and a button down shirt. <laughs> and uh, I have a photo somewhere with a kid I was sitting next to who had a mohawk and a jean jacket and, you know, thinking, okay, well, I don't look like who you would think would go to an Iron Maiden concert, but. But, yeah, that's a great thing about metal music and oh, metal. I mean, there's so, like I've told you before, the the only really group of people that I've ever felt welcomed by is metalheads. <laughs> you know, definitely. So, yeah. Well, I've been I've been working on uh, like a. a top 10 bands list not in terms of like how good they are but mm -hmm. 
but just in terms of like, here are 10 bands that I think you should know about that maybe aren't as well known or like deserve to break through, you know, so like slow green thing is on that list. Um, and I've added, uh, and like spiral shades, those were two bands that we've talked about. Um, Cavern deep was another one. And, uh, and I've added slow Mosa. So at some point I'll have cobbled together my 10 bands. You should be listening to list, but, um, but it was nice to know that Slow Mosa had a, a spot. They are, they've earned a spot on that list. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you were talking about the lyrics. They're kind of heavy. But when you listen to the music, it's it's kind of up-tempo and upbeat. And it has that feel-good quality to it. So you don't really expect heavy lyrics, you know. Right. So <laughs> So yeah, it's it's uh I like I I like that combination. Sure, sure. No, this is this when 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 we listened to Slow Green Thing uh, a while ago, and I heard Amygdala, and I felt like I was home. Um, I got the same impression listening to Slomosa, where I was like, oh yeah, no, this is where I belong. Yeah. This is this is my Cheers. This is where everybody knows <laughs> my name. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah, that's great finding music like that and yeah. Bands. Absolutely. Yeah, it's always fun. Yeah. Well, I I mean there I I'm just glad to know that they have an album that will be coming out this year. Um and they're the singles that they've released so far have been great. So I'm excited to see with it where they go next i know they're touring right now uh in europe um and i think they've begun to like how slow green thing uh had opened for crowbar and some other bigger bands i think slow mosa has also begun sort of doing that route as well so i feel like it's only a matter of time really before any of these bands break through into a bigger pool yeah, I saw they were, um, I think they had played with King Buffalo and uh, an elder. Yes. So, yeah, so that's pretty cool. That, <laughs> gosh, could you imagine that concert? <laughs> that not. would be amazing. Yes, I could. Yeah. But, uh, but it, it sounds like their new album is going to, it sounds like their, you know, the sound is going to be you know, like they're kind of experimenting with, you know, different, their sound a little bit. So it sounds like it might be a little bit different, but it, it sounds like it's going to be really good. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited there. I'm excited. I know Black Pyramid has a new album coming out. That's like their first album in uh, over a decade. Um, and uh, Slow Green Things album just came out. I know Slamosa has an album coming out. So it's a, a renaissance. Yeah. It's a renaissance for the type of music we like. Yeah, it's going to be another great year for music releases. Absolutely. Gonna, yeah. There's yeah, there's some great stuff coming up. It's exciting. Definitely. It is. Yeah. I'm glad. Gonna leave us, it's going to leave us with a lot of awesome stuff to talk about. Absolutely. And I'm glad that we're sort of getting in on the ground floor of um discovering or not discovering but like recognizing some of these bands while they're yeah. still while they're still sort of breaking through yeah yeah but um uh, well yeah thank you for revisiting slow mosa with me uh, i'm glad we did and uh, it was fun cool yes and next week we will be uh <laughs> Pivoting a little bit again. I don't want to give anything away, but it's uh, a surprise um, new aspect of the show. I'm excited for it. It revisits element of a fistful of faceful. That's all I'll say. Um, so it, we will we will certainly post about it to let you know when the episode is recorded. Yeah, and it's not just going to be the two of us. Nope, we are joined by some special guests. Yes, it's going to so, be fun. It's yeah. Be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. Well, happy Easter, and uh, we will see you again next week. 
Bye.